Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am creating a team consisting of autographs that I've gathered from former, current, and 2B NHL players. It was a hobby of mine for a little bit there, I kind of stopped now, but I'm happy with the collection I have. Maybe I'll get back into it, but let's go ahead and have a look at who's going to be on our roster. So first up we have Darcy Kemper who is now a part of the boys, aka the Crapitals. I have a Carey Price one, but it's kind of upsetting because of the fact that, you know, he's like 70 overall, so I can't even really use him in this, but he would have made the roster. All right, I'm just going to grab a few cards here, kind of go through them. So we got Travis Dermott, former Leaf, and now Vancouver Canuck. Braden Holpe, the man, the myth, the legend. I believe he's still a free agent, but he helped the Capitals win a Stanley Cup. So I thank you for that, Braden, and had that immaculate save on top of that we have chris pronger who even has two austin on it so that's sick and then we get another chris pronger card as well as a Vinny domfus so he will be joining the roster as well i wasn't sure if he'd be in the game but he is unfortunately Guy Lafleur is also not in the game i really thought he would be but no so can't join the team but that would have been fire we do have rod the bod though Brindamore, here he is playing on St. Louis. I think I have one. I definitely have an autograph of him on Carolina as well. And we have ourselves a Billy Guerin, who is in the game. I was sort of struggling to find him at first, but ultimately succeeded. We also have Dave Andrichuk. What a legend. On top of that, another absolute legend, Dale Howardchuk. And last but not least for this stack is Lee Stepniak, who is not in the game. Okay, so this is the remaining of the cards. And then I also have some 4x6, I think that's the size, photos. So we've got a Keith Kachuk right here. And then, I mean, I gotta get Matthew and Brady as well, eventually, if possible. Another Keith Kachuk. That is a very old school card. Remember having those when I was younger. Guy Carboneau, a Montreal legend, and he will be joining our roster as well. Next up, we have Lanny McDonald. Another stellar player. Can't wait to have him on our team. And then we have ourselves a Nick Antropov, who they did dirty. He's 80 overall in the game. I don't believe that's true. Now moving on to the 4x6s, we have Philip Tomasino, 2BC legend. I think he was 81 overall when I was putting the team together, so he's not bad. We got ourselves a Shane Wright, so that's going to be huge. I think he's only 78 overall right now, but still a solid player. Connor Bedard is going to be joining the roster as well. Can't wait for that. And we also have ourselves a Connor McMichael, Capitals prospect. The marker was clearly fading on this one, but it's still sick. And I'm very happy to have it. A Bowen Byram taking a picture with Joe Sackick. What an iconic photo. But yeah, another solid player to add to the roster. I also got a Ryan Suzuki here. Next up, we have Morgan Frost. And we also have ourselves another Sue Greyhound in Barrett Hayton. Peyton Krebs, I remember sending this one out. And yeah, getting the returns in the mail was always awesome. Every single time I saw an envelope, I was gassed and I was wondering who it was. So it was like Christmas every time. We also got ourselves Marcel Dion. He is an all-star. Gonna carry the boys. And last but not least, Norm Allman, another legend, Hall of Fame class of 1982. Let's go. So as we do, let's randomize a team to take out for the season mode and then plop our team in there and see how they perform. Hopefully we got some chemistry going on, you know? Although I don't think line chemistry matters or is relevant at all in season mode. Anyway, we're taking out the Colorado Avalanche. Well, that's one big threat eliminated. And in their place, we will put the custom team of the Glendale Gladiators. I apparently really like blue. 90 overall. One thing I noticed as well is that if I am going to continue this hobby in the future, then I should probably try to get more defensemen and some goalies. Advanced settings. Is this where I'll find like waiver notifications and whatnot? Yeah, don't even bother. Christoph Pronger, the highest overall player on the team apparently, because I think that's what they show there. It could be a tie, but oh, I think it is a tie because I'm pretty sure that he is 92 and so is Marcel. So here we go. Our first line is Marcel playing with Dale and Bill. Legendary. Next up, we got Lanny Mustache playing with Norm and Dave Andrichuk. Amazing second line. Our third line is outrageous. We have Keith Kachuk playing with Rod the Bod and Vinny. And then our fourth line is Tomasino with Hayton and Antropov. I'm very down for that fourth line as well. Defensively, we have Pronger and Byram. 
And then we have Dermot playing with Guy Carbono, Bedard, and Frost. And I'm just gonna leave best lines. Suzuki, McMichael, and Shane Wright are all scratched. And if we go to our goalies, we have Darcy Kemper playing with Brayden. Mr. Holt Beast, if you will. Alrighty. It's that time. Let's find out if the lads can win a Stanley Cup. Okay, good start. Great start. I think we're gonna be a playoff team, which isn't really surprising. Okay, never mind. We suck. What a roller coaster of emotions. That was a lot happening all at once. Nice. We were going through a bit of a rough patch there, but we definitely brought it back. Got a couple wins under our belt now. Hopefully we hit 30 before the trade deadline. Struggling to find it, but we finally did get it. And it looks like we will have 32 wins at the trade deadline. So that's all right. It's not great, but it's playoff bound. We are in fact in the playoffs up against the Dallas Stars, but let's go see how we did, shall we? Glendale finished third in the Central Division with 96 points, 44 dub steps on the season. And that is good enough for 10th in the entire league. The Tampa Bay Lightning take home the President's Trophy. 55 dubs for them. Top 16 teams did make it. Marcel led the team with 81 points. And then we got Dale with 74. Billy Guerin and Norm tied with 64. And then another 10 drop off to Vinny Domfus who got 54. Yo, I gotta say, they did him dirty with that picture. I'm pretty sure I can see the pixels. Darcy Kemper, 39 dubs and a 258 GAA. Not too shabby. Seven shutouts. We take that. Holt Beast wasn't much of a beast. But it's alright. I forgive you. How will we fare against the Dallas Stars? Let's sim the first four games and see where we sit. Nice. That is lovely. Their back is right up against the wall here and we delete them. And now we find out if we can delete the Winnipeg Jets. I will once again sim the first four games and it's looking real good. Same situation as last time. And the same result as last time. Glendale tearing up the NHL playoffs. In the conference finals, we have McDusty and Dreisaitl. It's been working so far, so I'm going first four games. Wow. That is the exact opposite of what's been happening. Oh, Cody CC. Yeah, great. It's not looking good right now. We're down by one. And we need to win this to stay alive. And then we need to win two more to advance. So, really looking like... We're going to be our abbreviation after this one. We're out shooting them so intensely. You're telling me that Soup is making all these saves? That's cap, bro. I actually love Jack Campbell, though. He seems like such a cool guy. Darcy Kemper gets scored on again by McLeod. At least we're shutting down McDusty and Dreisaitl. So there you have it. The Gladiators are rinsed in the conference finals. It was a good run. And the Stanley Cup goes to the New York Islanders. All right. Didn't see that coming. Marcel kind of went off in the playoffs. 22 points in 15 games. Lanny McDonald had 19. Garen and Allman both had 17. And then we got 13 apiece from Dale and Dave. Not your best showing, Kemper. 892 and a 3. We did not have goaltending in the playoffs. The team awards we are aware of. But individually, we have no idea. Nikita Kucherov gets the Art Ross in the heart. Tampa Bay is just cleaning up so far. Norris goes to Hedman. Lady Bing goes to Kucherov. Maddie gets the Calder, and then we see Bo Horvat taking home the Khan Smythe. Fair enough. Spencer Knight with the Vesna and the Jennings. He must have had a year. Carlo gets the Masterton. Bergeron with the Selkie. Kucherov once again taking home another piece of hardware. And Hatrick Kane gets the Rocket Richard. Here is your playoff tree. The Oilers didn't struggle at all until the finals, and they got dusted by the Islanders. Every series was 4-1 for them. And then the Isles, who went to 7 in round 2 and 3, managed to beat them out. Well, thank you for watching that one. Uh, stats show that 101% of you watching this video are not subscribed. So, if you could do that, that would be fire. Who knows, maybe I'll get back into the hobby, have some new players for next year, and we could do another rendition of this video. But I appreciate you. Hopefully, you enjoyed. I will see you soon.